we're doing right now? Why do we have to have this conversation every day? Okay, stop. Okay, so yesterday was not great. We were we set them equal to each other, right? What were we looking for? What were our solutions? Okay, so there were points that were where what intersect? Where the two equations intersect each other, right? Okay. All right. So, um, pull up your pill. Did you guys read that already? Okay, good. So, if they are reset, let's go to y equals. Okay, our y1 is going to be our top equation. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 3. Go down. Our y2 is going to be x minus 5. You can hit graph. Alright, so the biggest thing on these is can you see your two intersections? And you can in this case, right? So that's good. So, alright, a few things that need to be on your graph. Alright, top equation, we need the vertex. Okay, I want the vertex on your graph. So, if you want to find it by hand, you can. Okay, or we can do it with our calculator. So we're going to go semi trace. And if I want to find my vertex, I'm going to choose what's another name for my vertex in this. Ooh, but is it a maximum in this one? Minimum, yeah, because it's our because it opens up. So we have a minimum. So that's going to be three. Alright, so right now it says left bound, right? So we have to get to the left side of my vertex. So you gotta move your cursor, use your arrow to get to the left side somewhere. And hit enter. Got it? And now it says what? Right bound. So you gotta get to the right side. Hit enter. And then it says guess, get close to the vertex, and hit guess. And what's our vertex? What's the pick? On your calculator. It should, it should say minimum, right? And then it gives you an X and a Y. What does it say? Yep. So, so our vertex, so we can write vertex. Negative 3.5, comma. What's it say, guys? Come on, look at your calculator. Negative 9.25. Okay, so we've got to plot that point. Negative 3.5, negative 9.25. I can't see this, so I think I'm like, it's going to look a little bit like that. Right? Okay. So now we need to. So that's an important part of our parabola, right? What's the important part of our line? What y intercept? The y intercept. So we got to plot the y intercept. Is that one five right there? No. That one's that? I can't read mine, so you've got to go off your. Well, you can read it a lot better than I can up here, so look closely. Negative five right here is our y intercept. Yep, so yeah, you count the squares. You don't look at the numbers. You count one, two, three, four, five. Come on, guys, this isn't the first time we've graphed. Okay, now, what do I need to find? My, my well, I don't need my x, I need my, my intercepts, right? Okay, so semi-trace, 
And what am I looking for? Looking for my intersections, right? How many intersections do I have in this? Two. So how many times am I going to have to do this? Twice. All right. So that for my first curve. So we want to get close to where it intersects over here on the left side and hit enter, enter, enter. Where does it say my intersection is? Negative four, negative nine. Make sure you don't just plot your points, guys. Okay, you're going to have to label these things for me in your answers. You're going to have to tell me what your vertex is. You listening? Some of you are playing with your calculator right now. Are you doing listening to me? I need eyes up here right now. I need eyes up here right now. I need eyes up here right now. Okay, on your assignment, you're going to need your vertex. Okay, and you're going to need both solutions. Okay, both intersection points written down, not just plotted on your graph. Okay, if you just have them plotted on your graph, they're going to be wrong. Okay, I need to know what they are as well. Okay, so that's one, right? Now we have to find our second one. Okay, so second trace again. Intersection. Now we still we want to get it close to that other intersection point. We can't leave it where it's at. Enter. Enter, enter. What's our second intersection point? Negative two, negative seven. Okay, so you gotta plot those two points. Go ahead and plot those two points while I try to attempt to get my 
computer on stuff. Seems as though it's not working. We will. We will. Yep. literally frozen right now. Everything's frozen up. Whoa, stop! <laughs> That's not cool. Where's my eraser? What is... <laughs> Somebody's messing with me somewhere. Gotta be. Hmm. All right, so what are we missing? We're missing our vertex. Okay, can we see our vertex on our graph? No. No. If I can't see it, let's try to go zoom. No, that's a different one. That's that. We want to go zoom fit. Which one is that? I think it might be zero. So zoom zero. Ooh, now we got a good picture. Now I'm in her text, right? Yeah. All right. So what do I have to hit? Finish yeah. scale. Yeah. And what am I finding? Finding the minimum. Not the same as tray, but it's second tray. Here it is. Okay, my bad. Okay, so left thumb. Make sure you're on the left side. Right bound, you gotta get to the right side. Then if you don't get to the right side of your vertex, you're gonna get an error. What is it? Like error domain or error, argue, error argument? And that's what you screwed up is your left and right. You've gotta redo that. For your guess, get close. Hit enter. Okay, make sure you write vertex equals. What is my vertex? Positive 1.5? Yeah. Positive 1.5 and negative 11.25. Alright, so that means my vertex 1.5, negative 11.5, negative 5 is my.